So basically, any other physicist, we do um, analyze data, and because I'm an observer, I'm interpreting observed data, and then also, yeah, you, you disseminate the result through various uh, platforms. And then sometimes you spend time for planning for the uh, observing program. So daily basis, I do look at some archive. Here is the uh, archival database that every day people submit a paper. They're uh, uploaded here. So you can look up the latest paper people have published so that you keep, keep you up updated in the field. And then if you are lucky enough that you have a telescope access, you can go to the telescope site and then you get some uh, observation too. This was a CAC telescope. I had a really good opportunity to observe with that, but then uh, I had a really bad weather, so I missed that chance. So it was a very uh, sore memory. Uh, but then we, our Notre Dame has access to other telescopes. So I was able to get the data from that uh, observation. So here I sh show you some of the data analysis picture. And then uh, once you have a good enough uh, results, you can write some paper, the journal paper, and then you submit it. So this is kind of daily, day-to-day -day -day basis life. But then occasionally, because you are, um, uh, presenting your work because you need to uh, disseminate your great results. You go to uh, give uh, posters or sometimes giving talk. There's a good takeaway is that because of that, you have really great chances to travel around the world. And then you meet really great people and uh, you know, international scientists and you can build a really nice network. And then also this travel are actually usually free because if you are in a research group, that group has some travel funds. So you don't have to pay out of your pocket. And also sometimes your group doesn't have enough money, but many conferences actually, they provide some support that you can uh, participate in. So there's a many way that you can um, uh, utilize the resources at grad school if you are interested in coming to uh, grad school. So then I thought, what you want to, what would you want to know that why you need to gain something during your um, PhD or other um, like academic career. So once you, you do your PhD and after PhD, you will gain these various things. Of course, this is also depending on how proactive you are. It's not, you, you cannot get this free. So basically if you get a, excuse me, um, degree, then you have definitely deeper understanding of your subfield. And also you have a big sense of, you know, um, super big accomplishment. And also throughout this many different project, you will learn how to think critically and you will build your analytic skills. And sometimes you need a lot of the creativity to solve the problem. And also many, many uh, scientists actually, and especially in astronomy, you will, you will learn a lot of data science skill, which is very important for um, even uh, non-academic uh, positions. And because of that, you also gain the coding skills and because of this uh, disseminating uh, events, you will learn how the public speaking, public speaking skills and then writing skill by writing your paper. And then if you are in a team or teams uh, group, uh, then you will learn how to do collaborate well, and you will learn how to teamwork. And then through that, you will also gain the interpersonal skills. And this is really important actually. And then also because you have a various project for making up your thesis, you will have to learn how to manage time and project. And these are very important, uh, I think it's skills that you can get, uh, get away with your degree. And this is also very much uh, all transfer of a skill for an academic job as well. So I think there is a good part of the, um, uh, from the training. And then you would want to know after you graduate what you can do. Uh, I think this is as of 2015 that after undergrad, uh, physics undergrad, people got into various sector. Many of them go to grad school and uh, various actually uh, department too. And then there are, you can go to military education, other uh, private sectors too. 
then after you graduate uh, your PhD, what job options do you have? Many people want to go uh, stay in the academia, but not all of them want to go there too. So there's a, you can go to university, become a research and professors, or you can go to national observatory and become an observer and help other scientists to get their observation done. And also you can go to the government lab and you can become a, a researcher or civil servant, or even sometimes you become a policymaker. And then these days, astronomy, you have lots of um, data. So we really need to know how to deal with the data. So you gain a lot of data science skill. So many industry actually looking for people who has data science skill, especially if you have an astrophysics PhD, they really appreciate you. And then some people go to a planetarium or a science museum or even some science journalists, or also you can teach at uh, high school.